Morning everyone, this is Howard of AV Transfers UK. Well, what are we doing this morning? Well, today uh, I've got a debt to sit here for a customer, a client, and we're going to copy this now into digital format uh, for computer. So we can play it traditionally from a DAT machine and pipe it into a computer, but that would generally be more steps than necessary. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how I use some of my uh, computers that are specifically set up for DAT extraction. So we've got the DAT tape loaded into the DAT drive, which is specially modified firmware that allows it to read audio DAT as well as data DAT. Not that I do data debt because it's kind of an unknown quantity for me. But this is an audio debt. Let's see if it works. It's reading it. Let's see if it plays it. So it's playing it now. First of all, I'm just checking for errors. It's showing us program time. It's showing us run time. And it's showing us the error rate. And that's kind of what you want to keep healthy. And hopefully when there's some audio, we will see some movement on these channels. I don't see any yet, but they should be because that's running and not complaining. This is the whole length of the tape. Oh, there we go. And there's our sound. Just see the sound if you can hear it. And that's, that's what it is. So we will record that directly to Dad. Now there are a couple of errors. Errors normally come up when there's a jump between one recording and the other. But at the same time, what's nice is the tape is coming off the, off the uh, drive digitally and going straight into this program. And it's gonna copy all the segments, all the track splices exactly as it is on the tape. So this is the way to do that. And this is how we do that to audio file here at AV Transfers. And with that brief update, it's ciao for now. More to follow, much more to follow. <laughs> Bye. Just to add to that, um, with the software, uh, if you are recording and there are a lot of errors, there's a threshold of 500. 500 errors. I'm just checking that waiting video while I'm talking to you. There's a threshold of 500 errors. If it gets past 500, it cuts out and stops. So that's kind of the maximum amount of digital errors you should allow in a recording, which is a lot. But if it's a tape is good, you'll probably get 20 or 30. And that's normally when the program stops or starts, like dropped frames in a recording almost. Um, but it's the most exact way to get uh, audio extracted off DAT. And it allows me to do non-standard DAT formats as well. Long play, 96 uh, kilohertz, etc. Uh, all within the hardware of the computer uh, and extract that to WAV rather than deal with the uh, limitations of certain standard players. Obviously, I have lots of regular portable and main 19-inch rack DAT machines and they're in all different alignments because sometimes the tapes themselves are a bit out of whack. But ideally, the computer drive is by far the best. So that's today's thing. I look tired today. What do you think? <laughs> Not getting enough sleep. Need a holiday sometime. All right. From me to you, bye for now.